Hey, beautiful yogis. Welcome to Kirsten Nielsen Yoga. This practice today is for ladies who are on their day one, day two, or maybe even day three of their moon cycle. And they still want to practice. I know that I'm on day one. I still want to practice, but then I also kind of (laughs) don't. So I need something that's gentle, that offers me lots of rest, lots of space, no upside down practice, no deep twist, just really honoring the feminine today and honoring the sensations that are happening in your body and maybe even allowing this practice to decrease the sensation. So for me, I'm feeling a lot of pain in my low back. So I'll be doing some hip opening and offering some of that today as well for you. Also, um, just really grounding today, really, really grounding. Sometimes we can feel very scattered when we're on day one, day two or day three. So for me, I might say a few things wrong today and you you can understand why, <laughs> okay? So really just focusing on grounding and finding especially the exhale breath to ground, all right? Now, those who like to practice with music today, I have included a link to my Spotify playlist below in the description. Also, those who want to donate to the channel, I have included a link in the description below as well. So no props needed for this practice, just simply yourself and your yoga mat. So enjoy. All right, so we'll start in a cross-legged seat essentially. So crossing the right shin over the left shin and working the feet to come in line with the knees. So already we're gonna get a little bit into the low back, the hips, and finding a little bit of more of a release here. So spreading the toes, pressing into the balls, pressing into the heels. Coming up high onto the fingertips, we'll take a big breath in, lengthen from the base of the spine all the way to the crown. And as you exhale, start to allow the knees to get heavier, allow the legs to get heavier. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you start to walk the fingertips forwards, forwards, chin towards the chest as you fold in. Now, I know for me, this is already a big release. So if that's the same for you, take a big breath into the low back ribs. Either you'll stay here like me, or you can start to hinge even deeper and fold even deeper, maybe forearms down onto the mat, maybe forehead down onto the mat. Two more big, deep breaths. Big breath in. Long breath out. Sign to lift the gaze on the inhale walking the hands back in on the exhale. And keeping the legs exactly as they are, sweep the arms up overhead, take a big breath in. Lower the right arm down, a little lean over towards the right, just really gentle, allowing the left knee to get heavier, keeping the left sit bone grounded as you soften the right elbow. Big breath into the left lung. Long breath out, but still keep reaching through the left fingertips. Another inhale. Back to center, releasing the left arm down as you exhale. Arms sweep up overhead, breathing in. Now switch it, lowering the left fingertips down, keeping the right sit bone grounded. Soften the left elbow as you lean over towards the left on the breath out. Big inhale into the right lung. Stay long, exhale, keeping that right knee heavy. 
Last big breath in, but still keep the length. Pressing down into the sit bones, coming back to center on the breath out, releasing the right arm down. Bring the fingertips behind you, a little bit of a lean back as you just switch the cross of the legs. Now the left shin in front of the right shin. Feet again, you work in line with the knees. Coming up high onto the fingertips, big breath in. Keeping the length, walk the fingertips forwards as you fold on the breath out, see? Funny things are already going to start coming out my mouth now. <laughs> I feel like it's tricky to just do anything on day one of your moon cycle, let alone teaching yoga when you need to know your lefts and your rights. <laughs> hmm. And again, you can choose to stay here or you can fold in deeper. Wherever you choose to be, big breath into the back body, back of heart. Allow the belly to be soft on the out breath. And again, inhale. Smooth exhale. Pressing down to the sit bone, start to peel yourself back up as you breathe in. Coming all the way up on the breath out. Arms up overhead, big inhale. We start with the left this time, lean to the left, lower the left fingertips down as you exhale. Keep pressing the right sit bone down, right knee heavy. Big breath in. Stay long, breath out. Last inhale. Back to center, exhale. Both arms back up overhead, breathing in. Right arm lowers down and lean to the right on the breath out. Reaching with the left fingertips, inhale. Soften the right elbow more as you exhale. Last breath in. Back to center on the breath out. Now this time, bring the fingertips behind you, lean the weight back. Bring the fingertips so they point forwards, walk the hands a little bit further back. Keeping the toes pointing forward, press down into the feet, the lift with the hips as you breathe in. Move the hips towards the heels, bend, bend, bend the elbows on the breath out. So it's not so intense today. We're not going for the full whammy version of this one. Those who practice with me often will know it very well. Taking more of a gentle opening for the shoulders as you press down to the hands and lift the heart up. If it's too much, you can always move the sit bones away from the heels even more. Big breath in. As you exhale, press down to the hands, moving the hips back towards the hands. Start to cross over at the ankles, rolling over the shins, plant the hands down, sliding the knees back, so taking tabletop. And again, being a little bit more gentler with yourself with our cat and cows as we start to move through them. So you might not go into a deep extension for the lumbar. It may feel best to take more neutral. So think sit bones back and heart forwards, but not that deep, deep curve. So big breath in. I'm not going to go deep with my curve today. Looking forwards. Exhale, chin to chest, soften the elbows as you round, curl in. Now for me, this feels really, really good. And again, big breath in, sit bones back, heart forwards, not that deep curve. Exhale, round the spine, drawing in. Last one, breathing in, energetically dragging the hands to the knees. Exhale, curling in, now we'll stay hold. Pressing the earth away with the hands even more, just start to gently, gently move the hips from side to side. Not so much movement in the pelvis, just really, really gentle. Gentle. 
And then finding center, we'll walk the hands about hands distance forwards, tuck the toes under. Coming into downward facing dog, as you press the earth away, pick the knees off the mat. Hips nice and high, knees soft. Keeping the elbows soft, press down to the palms more, especially the index finger knuckle. Root down as you start to move the heart a little bit further back. Big breath in, rise up onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, deep bend into the knees. The chest goes closer towards the thighs. Rising up onto the balls of the feet, breathe in. Heels lower down towards the mat on the breath out. Rising up, balls of the feet, inhale. This time, bend the knees. Step the right foot to the middle. Then the left foot to meet the right. Then walk the right hand back to the right foot. Then the left hand back to the left foot. Keep the knees soft, feet hips distance. Hands to shins, big breath in. Knees soft, forward fold, long breath out. You can bend the knees as much as you need, head nice and heavy. And again, hands to shins, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Pressing down through the feet, we'll bend the knees, think sit bones towards the heels, super slow, start to roll yourself all the way up. Keep grounding into the heels as you think tailbone to heels, peeling up. Hmm. Shoulders up towards the ears, big breath in. Shoulders down the back, long breath out. And again, shoulders up towards the ears, inhale. Heart open, melt the shoulders down the back, exhale. Walk the feet forwards towards the top of the mat. Big toes to touch, or it may feel best for your low back today to keep the feet hips distance. Knees soft, heels ground, arms up overhead, take a big breath in. Interlace the fingers behind the back on the breath out, work the palms together. Keep the elbows soft, move the fist back as you send your heart forwards, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Big breath in. Gently release the fingertips down to the mat, mindful of the shoulders on the breath out. Hands to shins, inhale. Right foot steps back, right knee down to the mat, exhale. Now stay up onto the fingertips, take a big breath in, look forwards. Release the top of the back foot down on the breath out. Then press down to the foot as the heart lifts a teeny bit higher. This will be a lot for your psoas. I can really feel this one. Either stay here or start to sweep the arms up overhead. Watch the palms touch, breathe in. Hands down to the mat, breath out. Look forwards, inhale. Walking the hands back as you straighten out through the left leg on the exhale. Right toes tuck under, press into the ball of the right foot. Come up higher into the fingertips, take another inhale, look forwards. Keep pressing into the ball of the left foot as you soften the left knee slightly, bend the elbows, fold in on the exhale. Look forwards, breathing in. Fold breath out. Inhale, look forwards, lengthen. Deep bend to the left knee, plant the left foot down. Bring the hands down to the mat, pick the right knee off the mat, inhale. Step the left foot back, lower the knees down, exhale. Child's pose, bring the sit bones towards the heels. Knees as wide as you need, forehead down onto the mat. And take a big breath into the low back ribs, really filling up. Smooth, steady out breath. Another big breath into the back body. Full breath out. And then gently looking forward, start to slowly slide the hands a little bit further back. Draw the knees in towards one another. Bring the hands, 
plant the hands straight back down as you come back into your downward facing dog, tucking the toes under, picking the knees off the mat, sit bones nice and high, feet hips distance. And again, rising up onto the balls of the feet, big breath in. Deep bend into the knees, press the chest towards the thighs on the breath out. Rising up, balls of the feet, keep the palms grounded, hollowing out through the armpits. Exhale, this time bend the knees, look forwards. Step the left foot to the middle. Then the right foot, feet hips distance. Walk the left hand back, then the right hand back, knees soft, forward fold. Hands to shins, halfway lift, inhale, press down to the heels, really spread the mat out wide with the heels. So feel the sit bones spread wide. Exhale, knees soft as you fold in. Last one, hands to shins, big breath in. Fold in, long breath out. Knees soft, press into the heels, articulate the spine all the way up. Shoulders up towards the ears, inhale. Melt the shoulders down the back, exhale. And again, shoulders up towards the ears, breathe in. Shoulders down the back, breath out. Step the feet forwards towards the top of the mat, either feet hips distance or big toes to touch. Arms up overhead, breathe in. Interlace the fingers behind the back with an unfamiliar grip, different thumb on top. Send the fists back, move the heart forwards, inhale. Knees soft, sit bones up towards the sky, forward fold, exhale. Big breath in as you shift the weight slightly forwards. Exhale, gently release the fingertips down to the mat. Halfway lift, looking forwards, breathing in. Left foot steps back. Release the left knee down to the mat on the breath out. Come up high onto the fingertips, inhale. Release the top of the left foot down on the exhale. Press it down to the top of the foot. Either stay here or arms up overhead. Take a big breath in. Hands down to the mat on the breath out. Come up high onto the fingertips. Inhale. Tuck the back toes under for support as you walk the hands back, straightening out through the right leg on the exhale. Right knee stays soft, press into the ball of the foot, come up high on the fingertips, even higher, take a big inhale in. Soften the elbows, fold in, long breath out. And again, two more, inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Last one, breathing in. Fold in, long breath out. Look forwards, inhale, deep bend into the front knee as you exhale, arms up overhead, breathe in, hands down to the mat, stepping back or picking the back knee off the mat, then stepping the right foot back, lower the knees down, take child's pose, big toes to touch, knees nice and wide. This time bringing the palms together, so essentially it's like you're making a prayer with the hands. The elbows stay down onto the mat. The sit bones stay moving towards the heels. Maybe you stay here, forehead down, or maybe you start to work the hands behind the head. And then finding that opening for the triceps, find the opening a little bit more for the shoulders. Big breath into the back body. Long breath out. And gently extending your arms forwards if you haven't already, inhale. Walking the fingertips in, in towards underneath the shoulders as you bring the knees towards one another on the exhale. Sit bones back towards the heels. Sweep the arms up overhead, take a big breath in. Interlace the fingers, press the palms overhead on the breath out. Big inhale in, 
Send the arm bones a little bit further back on the breath out. And then releasing the arms, take another inhale, release the hands, lower the arms down, exhale. Hands down to the mat, tuck the toes under, we come back to downward facing dog, breathing in. Stay, breath out. Come up high onto the balls of the feet, inhale. Bend the knees, look forward, step the right foot to the middle of the mat, then the left foot. Walk the right hand to meet the right foot. Walk the left hand to meet the left foot. Halfway lift, breathing in. Forward fold, breath out. Rise all the way up to standing, arms sweep up overhead, inhale. Hands to the prayer, to prayer at the heart as you exhale. Release the arms alongside the body. We'll step the right foot slightly forwards. Then move the left foot a little bit further back. We'll pivot the back heel down. So we're moving into warrior three, warrior one. <laughs> How's my mistakes today? Whoa. So moving into warrior one. So right toes pointing forward, left toes pointing to about 10 o'clock. We draw the right hip back as we sink a little deeper into the front knee, the right sit bone scoops under and forward. So we're still keeping the length through the low back. Press down to the back heel more. Sweep the arms up overhead. Take a big breath in. Stay now on the exhale. Sink a little bit deeper on the breath out. So really exaggerate the out breath. So we're embracing that downward moving of energy. Big breath in. Long breath out, sink a little bit deeper, but making sure the front knee isn't tracking over the heel. You might want to walk the foot a little bit more forwards. And again, big breath in, long breath out. Stay on the in breath, hands down to the mat on the out breath. Stepping the right foot back, breathe in. Walking the hands a little bit further back, bend the knees, lower the knees down to the mat on the breath out. Moving the sit bones back towards the heels, knees together, feet together, take your seat again. Arms up overhead, breathe in. Interlace the fingers, press the palms overhead, breath out. Stay, inhale, this time press into the feet, send the hips forwards as you exhale. Now keep the length through the low back, but press into the feet more, lift the heart high, take an in breath, stay on the out breath. So rather than thinking back bend here, I want you to think lots and lots of length. So pressing into the feet, pressing the palms up towards the sky, almost like you wanna to touch the ceiling with the palms. Another inhale, releasing the hands, hands down to the mat, pick the knees off the mat on the exhale. Walk the left foot in towards the middle of the mat, then the right foot in. Left hand to meet the left foot, right hand to meet the right. Halfway lift, breathing in. Forward fold, long breath out. And again, halfway lift, inhale. Fold in, exhale. Press down to the feet, slowly rolling yourself all the way up, inhale. Shoulders roll down the back, exhale. Arms up overhead, big breath in. Hands to prep the heart, breath out. Now we step the left foot slightly forwards. We step the right foot even further back for warrior one. Left toes point forwards, right toes point to about two o'clock. So we do want the feet hips distance in the warrior one position. Left knee tracks even more forwards as you get deeper into the lunge. We keep pressing down to the back heel. We find that low belly gentle containment as we keep the length in the low back. Arms sweep up overhead, inhale. And again, really embrace that downward flow of energy on the exhale, so long exhale. Big breath in. Full breath out. And again, smooth in breath. All the way to empty, long out breath. 
Big breath in, watch the palms touch. Hands down to the mat, breath out. Come up onto the ball, the back foot, stepping the left foot back, lowering the knees down to the mat, child's pose, knees nice and wide, big toes to touch, sit bones to heels, forehead down to the mat. Big breath in. Allow yourself to get even heavier on the out breath. Big breath in to the back body. Slow breath out. Starting to lift the gaze on the inhale. Walking the hands back in on the exhale. Bringing the knees in towards one another, sit bones towards the heels, arms up overhead, big breath in. Interlace the fingers, press the palms overhead on the breath out. Smooth breath in, pressing down into the shins as you lift the hips away from the heels on the breath out. And again, no back bend here, just thinking lots of length. Another inhale. Releasing the arms as you exhale, hands down to the mat. Then from here, we'll cross the feet over one another, walk the hands back, back, lower the sit bones down. We'll send the legs forwards and I'll just turn to face you guys. And then we'll come back to releasing the glutes, but instead of taking Agni Stambhasana like we did at the start, we'll take Gomukhasana. So we'll plant the feet down, right hand comes underneath the right leg, grab a hold of the left ankle, we bring it in towards the right sit bone. Then we step the right leg over. Now this is a really nice one for your hips because essentially you're stabilizing the pelvis. So on day one, day two or day three, our SIJ joint can get quite unstable because the ligaments around it are looser. So doing a pose like Golmukhasana is a really nice way to stabilize the pelvis, but still get into the hips. So we'll start to work to stack the knees on one, top of one another. Sit bones down, right leg nice and heavy. Take a big breath in. Either you'll stay here or you'll start to hinge at the hips on the breath out. But keeping the sit bones grounded. Maybe you'll walk the fingertips forward. Maybe you'll lower the forearms down. Big breath in, long breath out. Looking forwards, inhale, walking the hands back in as you exhale. Bring the fingertips behind you, a little bit of a lean back. Gently plant the feet down first, then we'll switch sides. Left hand comes underneath, grabbing a hold of the right ankle, bring it in towards the left sit bone, then stepping the left leg over. And again, we shift the weight forward, stack the knees, both sit bones grounded equally. Big breath into the heart. Again, either staying here or hinging at the hips as you fold in. So seated poses are really beautiful on your moon cycle because essentially we're grounding ourselves. So we're embracing that Muladhara chakra with the sit bones grounding, with the legs as they are like this. It is that calming and reconnecting to the earth energy.
big breath in. Long breath out. Looking forwards, inhale. Walking the hands back in as you exhale. Fingertips behind you as you lean the weight back. And then bringing the heels a little closer towards the sit bones, just wrap the forearms around the legs. Just give yourself a little squeeze, a little hug. Little rocks from side to side. Now, for me, I like to finish my practice in meditation. But those of you who want to lie down for Shavasana, you can do that. If there's one or two poses you feel like you'd like to do before Shavasana, it might be an open twist. So not a deep twist with the knee across, but feet as wide as the mat, knees fall down to one side than the other, then you can do that. Otherwise, I'm coming into a meditation scene. Virasana. So my legs are together. I feel very stable for my pelvis. I keep the length of my low back, but I allow my belly to be soft. Arms nice and heavy, palms facing up. And if you're lying down, you feel that connection of the whole back body to the mat. You might take those last couple adjustments, those last poses. And to finish, I'm going to choose to bring my hands on my womb. So essentially, it's like creating an upside down diamond shape. The thumbs come together and the index fingers meet. And you're bringing the hands onto the womb like so, the elbow soft. And we'll just breathe into the hands, breathing into the womb. Again, embracing the long exhales, going all the way to empty with the breath, but not forcing the breath, not pushing anything. In a sense, we allow the exhale to be long as we just kind of let go. We let go, we let go, we let go. We're fully dropping into our feminine. No forcing, no pushing, just simply being. And you can choose to stay with your hands on your womb if this feels like a very loving, warm touch hmm. or you can choose to release the hands palms facing up so you're still in that open receptive state take a big loving breath in slow releasing out breath Moving into stillness, moving into Shavasana if you haven't already. Now you can stay here for as long as you like. Thank you for practicing with me today, yogis. Namaste.